Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson. Today I want to show you how to connect to a network registry of a remote device. So let's say you want to connect to a registry of a device and you don't know how to do that. I'm going to show you how to do just that. So first of all, what we need to do is, um, well, I, wa I want to connect from this device to this Windows 10 workstation. So what I need to do is, I will need to go and just start my registry or oh, let me just start it. my registry and then click yes for the users control so here you can see I have opened the registry editor and here I have my local and uh, current registry but I want to connect to a remote device registry so what I need to do is this I would like to do, uh, do the following go to file and here we have connect network registry so click connect network registry and you can see that it's going to connect to a computer because you cannot connect, uh, connect this to a user's object and again the location is going to be my entire uh, it's going to search for my entire active directory but i can decide to actually just go and say okay i want to search on this location if i wish a specific location but i'm just going to leave it like that so i'm going to go to this device which is the c01 so I can check the name, you can see that the name is correct. So when I click OK, and you can see I receive an error. So you can see um, by receiving this error message, you would think that maybe the device is not um, available online. But when we read the message, the error message we receive carefully, we see that first of all, you have to make sure that this device is on the network, that's one. Secondly, you need to make sure that um, it has a remote uh, uh, has remote administration enabled. And thirdly, you need to make sure that the uh, remote registry service is being um, run. So what we need to do is, if you have access to that remote device, you will need to ask the user or you can as well ask the user to check if the following is turned on. So let me just go to here. As you can see here, I've opened already the services on the Windows 10 device I'm trying to connect. So what we need to search for is the remote registry here you can see that it is disabled by default so windows try to actually block someone from connecting to that device so what i need to do is i need to go to my properties here and just put it on manual click apply and then start the service and then click ok and let me close this let me just leave this for some time i can disable it again if i wish so and secondly you will need to go to your advanced system settings and make sure that the remote um, desktop is allowed you can see allow remote connection to this computer is actually um, being managed by a policy you can see it's gray so I can't change it from here so I'm going to click OK then let me try again to connect to this to this device let me just click OK here and then go to file connect network registry and then enter the device name and click OK and you can see that we are able to connect to the device right now so here we but mind you you only have two options here compared to this is my own device this is my device here you can see i have the classic root current user local machine and the hk users and current configuration but I, here i cannot connect to the current user of the uh, registry of the current user i can only connect to the local machine and the hate key user so if i'm having an issue with the local machine i want to just connect to, the, to that registry to resolve some problem i can do it here and i can be i should be able to modify some every selection from this device on, on that device so that is how you connect to the registry of a remote computer my name is kelvin johnson thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more it related video and if you think this video has been of any help to you don't forget to take your time and give me a thumb up for taking my own time to create this video thank you very much and see you next time bye